some other functions that we're going to go over, as well as an introduction to how to choose the correct channel or correct frequency for your communications. Thank you very much. In broadcast is brought to you by the ship Com Radio Network. This is Public Coast Station WL located south of Mobile, Alabama, just in the end of the north coast of the Gulf of Mexico and Public Coast Station KLB located near Seattle, Washington. KLB and WLO Radio are open 24 hours per day, 7 days per week for radio, telephone, and radio telex traffic. Class 3, Tropical Storm Lorenzo forecast flight the October 20th. Coast Station uh, WLO and KLB broadcast uh, weather uh, for the North Atlantic, Caribbean Sea, Gulf of Mexico, as well as the uh, Eastern and North Pacific, as well as Tropical Pacific six to eight times per day and every time every hour on the top of the hour they also have a traffic list of all vessels that they're holding traffic for so not only can you place a phone call through them they can also call you coast and it is in the middle of October this is a good time of the year and a good time in different frequencies and how they propagate I'm currently tuned to WLO, which is a private coast radio station in Mobile, Alabama. It's about 600 miles from me, give or take, 500, 600 miles. And while this uh, station comes in quite strong here in Florida, you should know that they have coverage out about 5,000 miles from the uh, Gulf Coast of the United States, covering the entire North Atlantic into the Mediterranean, as well as their secondary station in Seattle, Washington, where they also cover most of the North Pacific and the Eastern uh, Tropical Pacific Ocean. I'm going to select a couple of their different channels and allow you to listen to their simultaneous broadcast so you'll get an idea of what can happen at different times of the day. This is on channel 824 which is one of their primary channels that I use for daytime communications around the Gulf Coast and the Bahamas. It's a good overall daytime regional frequency. Coverage is anywhere from 300, 500 miles up to maybe a maximum of 600 to 1,000 miles during the daytime. 600, 000, 29 point 9 north, 50.3 west, max wind 35 knots, gusts 45 knots, 34 knots. Now I've selected the 6 megahertz channel. Northeast, 30, southeast, 13, southwest, 13 north. their 4 megahertz channel. Back to 6. And back to 8. Max wind 13 knots. Gust 40 knots. Zero zero zulu 32.8 north. 45.2 west. Post here is their 12 megahertz channel. Gust 35 knots. Extended outlook. Note. Errors for track have average near 150 nautical miles on day four. And go to the 16 megahertz channel. And for intent. as strong as 12, there is more noise on the 8 megahertz channel, which is understandable and it is natural. 
A hurricane watches in this act four. Therefore, it is the 12 megahertz channel that I would want to select at this time. Over it. But this is just an indication of how changing the channel to the correct channel, band, or frequency for the correct path or communications distance that you want to talk at is an important concept. This is a very important criteria when trying to determine how to use your radio and how to talk to who you wish to talk to. We're going to get into more detail about this in a different video. I just wanted to use this example of WLO radio and in another section of the video I'll also be using the United States Coast Guard uh, area master station in Chesapeake, Virginia which is approximately 900 miles from my position or 800 to 900 miles from my position here and I'll be using a few different frequencies there to also show you some differences on their signal. The United States Coast Guard broadcasts offshore and high seas weather on both voice communication, teletype, and by weather facts or facsimile weather charts. They broadcast both from Chesapeake, Virginia, as well as New Orleans, Point Reyes, California, Kodiak, Alaska, Honolulu, and Guam on voice channels. And this next broadcast coming up will be from Chesapeake, Virginia, which is approximately 800 and some miles to 900 miles from me here in South Florida. This is the United States Coast Guard, Communications Area Master Station, Atlantic, Chesapeake, Virginia. United States Coast Guard, Communications Area Master Station, Atlantic, Chesapeake, Virginia. United States Station, Atlantic, Chesapeake, Virginia. National Weather Service Marine Forecast will follow. Break. Stand by 4 FNT1 Weather Product. FZNT21. This broadcast is coming out of Chesapeake, Virginia on 6, 8, and 12 megahertz. I'm going to select the different channels and allow you to hear the difference. These are simultaneous broadcasts same information on all three channels from about 900 miles away at about 11.30 a.m. local time. Which is the average height of the highest one-third of the wave. This is 12 megahertz. The individual with maybe more than a for significant wave high. So That's the 8 megahertz channel. going to let this roll for a minute so you can get an idea of what the weather forecast sounds like. George's Bank, from the northeast channel to the Great South Channel, including waters east of Cape Cod, to the Hague Line, 3.47 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Tuesday, October 22, 2013. Today, south winds stand to 15 knots. Becoming 10 at 20 knots in the morning. Seas 2 to 4 feet. Building to 3 to 6 feet in the afternoon. Chance of thunderstorms early in the afternoon. Tonight, west to southwest winds 15 to 20 knots. Becoming north to northwest 10 to 20 knots after midnight. Seas 3 to 6 feet. Scattered showers. Wednesday, north winds 5 to 15 knots, becoming south to southwest 20 to 13 knots early in the afternoon. Seas 3 to 6 feet, chance of showers. Wednesday night, north to northwest winds 20 to 13 knots, becoming west to northwest 25 to 13 knots after midnight. Seas 4 to 7 feet. Chance of rain. Thursday, west winds 20 to 13 knots. Seas building to 6 to 10 feet. Friday, 
north to northwest winds diminishing to 10 to 20 knots. Seas for to 7 feet. Saturday. West to southwest winds 15 to 25 knots. Seas for to 7 feet. Zone ANZ0. Using the Coast Guard weather broadcast here, as well as the WLO channels we looked at earlier, gives you an idea of different channels and frequency bands used different times of the day for the different distances. I'm going to try to go over this as best as I can in as brief and as easy to understand way as possible. A general rule of thumb is that you're going to find as you watch these videos that the 8 and 12 megahertz channels seem to be used most often by most cruisers and by most offshore mariners. There's a good reason for this. During the daytime, the 8 megahertz channels tend, tend to allow regional communications. That is in their outside the range of your VHF radio of say 30 to 50 miles on up to as much as 500 to uh, as, at the maximum of about 1,000 miles but typically in the 200 to 600 mile range. The 12 megahertz channels are significantly longer distance during the daytime. These can range from as, at the minimum of 150 to 200 miles up to as much as three or 4,000 miles. Typical ranges on 12 megahertz during the daytime for most cruisers will be in the 500 to 2,000 mile range. The 16 megahertz channels will tend to create even longer range communications possibilities, although as we get to the lower sunspot cycle range, these will tend to be only daytime use. 12, me 12 megahertz channels can still be used in the evening, although to a lesser extent as the years go on. Night nighttime use, you're going to find the lower channels of 4, 6, and 8 megahertz to be useful, although with the added noise of static and atmospheric thunderstorms. 12 megahertz can still be used at some point in the evenings, but typically as the sun sets further and further across the, down past the horizon, you're going to find 12 megahertz to be unusable. General rule of thumb here, always use the highest possible frequency for the communications that you want to undertake. Now that's a tough thing to do as a novice. However, just in general, if you want to communicate over a certain length of path, use the highest possible frequency for that time of day. This will get you the strongest signals and the least amount of noise in your communications. However, if you use too high of a frequency, communications will not go through at all, and too low of a frequency, the same thing can happen. I realize that that sounds a little contradictory, so let me see if I can place it in a little bit better context for newcomers. Think of the sun as your guide. As the sun is higher in the sky, you will use higher channels and higher frequency numbers. As the sun is lower, meaning below the horizon, like on the other side of the earth, you will use lower frequencies and lower channel numbers. As the more you use the radio, as the more you get used to it, you'll understand this a little bit better. I've shown you WLO and US Coast Guard's November Mike November different channels and how they come in at different... Di I'm going to place a call now to WLO in Mobile, Alabama and I'll show you how easy it is just to place a phone call from your vessel. I'm going to pick channel 1212 not because it's in particular the channel that you have to use but for the location I'm in right now this will provide me the lowest noise and the best signal possible. I'm going to turn the volume up so you'll hear just general background static, nothing major. I'm going to pick up the microphone now and simply place a call to WLO. Whiskey Lima Oscar, Whiskey Lima Oscar, Whiskey Lima Oscar. This is sailing vessel Annie Laurie, Annie Laurie calling you on 12 12, 12 12, over. Uh, yes, good morning. Uh, I'm, uh, my call sign is Whiskey Delta Bravo 6927. We are near Fort Pierce, Florida. How do you copy? Over. I got you loud and clear. Pass the pass, sir. Okay. I have uh, one piece of telephone traffic. One piece of telephone traffic to try. Just go ahead with the number. Okay. That number is. 206-2. 206-2. 